the submerged after a uh, welding machine. With this machine, that uh, it is working now, right? You can see clearly with our camera that they are doing the welding. And uh, this welding machine is uh, specially has the American Lincoln welding uh, welder machine uh, inside the submerged uh, uh, the whole machine because uh, the large size of the uh, sections, but the uh, oversized size of of this machine could be somewhat very large and uh, with the uh, American Lincoln welder with maybe you guys are all, also very professional must have known that with this machine they have a uh, very high capacity and uh, uh, safe the uh, welding raw material and uh, make the raw line very smoothly and uh, to have us to uh, enable us to have a very accurate and uh, high quality widening line of all the uh, steel structure profile. And um, also here you can see there is another uh, submerged automatic uh, weld arc welding machine here. And uh, we prepared se several uh, uh, the uh, automatic submerged welding machine is not uh, only to help us to same time fabrication, but also to improve our efficiency, also our uh, working accuracy in uh, different uh, projects. So in our uh, factory, at the same time, if you have different uh, uh, projects, also uh, if your projects uh, uh, were a uh, requirement of high quantity and uh, high uh, uh, quality standard requirements, we can also meet the, uh, your request. Okay, as you can see here, some also roll uh, H section beam or line here. They are doing the preparing of the next step of the fabrication. Yeah, they are very impressive, right? So uh, you can see here, they are more than more taller than me, right? Very very impressive one, and uh, with the large scale of the HB to our construction pro project. And this is you can. See Differently, you can see uh, for the uh, web opposite to the final profile of all the uh, quality control and all, all the materials final shows to the uh, project. So the more good the quality, the more good the welder and the, the welding, they are more high strength for the maintain and the no mistakes by the fabrication. So here also there are Another one. Okay, so uh, here now we can see on my right hand our welders are doing their welding, and uh, I I I uh, I would like to say that uh, in our factory that all the welders uh, pass the uh, uh, welding. Welders, uh, welders test and very high quality and experienced workers in our workers. So, with the serious work and uh, the experienced workers, and also our the control. We can rest assured our wedding work to show our material.
skills. Uh, we are very uh, high quality welders in our workshop. Okay. Now, besides that, after the welding and submerged welding and uh, uh, to prepare the profile of all the sections, let's go with this way. To make the edge section clean and uh, prepare for the soft, for the coating when it's soft glassing, right? And just now, I have to show you guys in the uh, PP uh, PowerPoint uh, the pictures that we have this large scale machine. What is this? Yes, this is the soft glassing machine, and uh, here is the large scale uh, vertical. Uh, self glassing machine in our workshop. And uh, besides this, we also have horizontal self glassing machine. And uh, so far, for the standard of all the self glassing, we meet the standard of uh, ASTM SA 2.5 to meet the uh, sections profile of clear and uh, food to the next step of the painting. And uh, okay, uh, let's go to continue to see the next step. And uh, as I mentioned now that uh, so far our uh, factory and our company have been focusing on the structure for 21 years. And uh, so far we have now successfully hand over uh, many of our projects uh, to customers overseas. For example, the uh, Japan, the Qatar, the PNG, uh, the United States, the uh, uh, Korea, and uh, Peru, and uh, Canada. We now pass it again and also the part of having their uh, construction project. Okay, you can see well, our workshops now are very busy, right? And uh, this this side, we have, they are fabrication for the, the, for the bridges. And uh, here also, because the bridges is very complicated and with uh, different types of manufacturing, after that, they will set up to build up the, uh, the box, also the greatest module. Wow, yes. And with the left thing uh, to moving on, and uh, you can see here also standby. And uh, many other. Uh, so heavy capacity of the uh, also uh, uh, to also scale looks uh, in our uh, past experience. So okay, you can see have a closely thought on this screen. That uh, the first one, uh, first of all, is our North heavy industrial tree plant, and uh, you can see the <coughs> these are uh, all very heavy. Uh, the uh, H beam and the column in this uh, workshops and uh, this project total tonnage is seven thousand pounds for uh, the for the whole uh, industrial zones and this 
and this one with uh, the heaviest uh, column pounds for each column is 30 pounds, very heavy, right? And uh, also this is, this one is our Papua New Guinea Stadium uh, uh, project and uh, with uh, three uh, contribute to this big scale project uh, to uh, short time delivery, right? Okay, so another one I would like to introduce is the uh, Fiji multi-story buildings. Let's see, these are all on the progresses. And uh, here, uh, the other one is our logistic park project. And the uh, next one is uh, our Shenyang Dongtai uh, environmental protection industrial park. You can see the drawing and uh, the finished part. This is uh, also an industrial zone so with uh, uh, at, uh, about uh, 11 uh, warehouse and workshop together. And uh, the next one is our G4 workshop. You can see this one. This, this is one the uh, column and the cream beam are very heavy because this one is uh, made for the automatic part fabrication. As you may know, that's one of uh, the world famous uh, uh, car uh, material factory is BMW, right? So this different uh, workshops is this uh, supplier and uh, we fabrication the whole workshop for them. And you can see the on-site working now. Okay, next one is the Qatar uh, workshops. Uh, this workshop's area is totally 10,000 square meters and with their office and also workshops together. You can see the profile of our uh, structure beams and uh, with the beams, uh, we're now using the uh, soft glass uh, SA 2.5 uh, standard and uh, so you can see the painting, the profile very good and uh, now we use uh, Exposy and uh, I think Exposy uh, premier uh, painting first on the coating. So with this type, we uh, we use uh, uh, so have the advantages of the long term uh, protection of the things and uh, also to enable us uh, to make the structure beam uh, to make the variety of using life to. Eight or eight to ten years or more, and uh, compared to the normal uh, anti rust uh, painting, it's Oh, now we have uh, also cooperation with many projects and uh, customer anti-rust uh, painting with this one is also using many zones. So, uh, okay, let's continue. Uh, we made some different, uh, another uh, machine in our workshop here. On my left hand, you can see there are two auto arm sorting machine on my left hand. And uh, with the uh, small uh, plate and uh, the raw material fabrication. Uh, we need this kind of uh, auto arm uh, drawing machine to maintain the accuracy and uh, also uh, to do the fabrication uh, at the same time. You can see they are lying here. And uh, as you see that uh, in our factory now, uh, are doing same time also for the construction and the bridges project. And uh, <clears throat> at this now you can see the bridges box, right? So here for some uh, cutting of the plated for construction, here you can see the, the uh, plate shear machine with two sets and uh, all on there working now. And uh, with the inspection, you can see our workers and the inspectors well tagging together to make sure the host and the size and specification are accuracy so that they can combine different section and size and type of the uh, whole uh, finished part of uh, different uh, 
structure structure using hand. Okay, as mentioned the accuracy, I would like to introduce the next uh, machine, our workshop. You can see here in my left hand. Compare with the normal using hat when it's to uh, maintain to control them to control the drawing. So the accuracy and the, the drawing are not very uh, are not uh, as good as the uh, four ton computer using one. So We 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 uh, set this two uh, um, computer controlling drawing machines to help us to do the more drawing work. And you can see here is one, and uh, on my right hand is here another one. And uh, our workers are doing on their work zones to tap on the computers. So uh, with the computers to like the machine works and uh, on the drawing will be very uh, handling and prepare well. And uh, as you can see that for so many projects, uh, one packing machine is not enough, right? So you can see on my left hand, there are two, another CNC uh, drawing machine here in the with the computer controlling, uh, they can set uh, directly on the computer how these uh, sections look like and how uh, the cutting they need. So uh, after that, uh, this working line will have the cutting work to continue and uh, no need to worry about the uh, efficiency uh, and the offer, the uh, accuracy. Okay, so you can see now here we are doing our the cutting line and the drawing, right? And uh, uh, besides the heavy, heavy thickness of the raw material, we have many small scales raw material of different thickness. So we need uh, also the presses on, my, on our workshop. And uh, we also have the, just now we mentioned the Four column hydraulic presses in our workshops, and uh, so the assembling and the welding and uh, so in the other line you can see there are many uh, uh, there are also other like, uh, fabrication uh, to contribute as the uh, all the steps of the first of the raw material fabrication part and the welding we will have uh, the painting also Shop glassing and painting, and uh, uh, for the delivery, we have the package and pallet, right? And uh, okay, now we have a brief uh, brief on the whole workshop now. And uh, with next, uh, we, I would like to uh, uh, introduce guys with uh, those three guys. You can take a look at uh, our the workshops, and you can have a see on our. Workshops look like, and also I would like to point that uh, there are so many trees or height, right? And uh, in our uh, this workshop, the uh, capacity of each load of crane is from the five tons to fifty tons uh, different. And uh, the most heavy one we can load here for uh, fifty tons. And uh, so far, I have a question now. So do you guys remember just now? I will show you a uh, one. Hundred ton crane right in our workshop. Do you know where it? Do you remember?
Yes, uh, that is on our. So okay, in this workshops, I just to show you some of our equipment, also our workers, welders, and uh, our working flow of uh, all the fabrication lines, and uh, you can see that <coughs> with the, the all the equipment and uh, uh, and the machines in our workshops is uh, not only to. Uh, satisfy the normal type of uh, construction or bridges fabrication, but also to higher our accuracy and the uh, working efficiency of all the workshop, uh, all the workflows. For example, uh, besides this uh, automatic submerged uh, machine, we have also the uh, automatic drilling machine and the computer control machine, and also for run for. Uh, uh, the line and the edge milling, you can see also with very big, large scale and uh, high accuracy. Uh, uh, for example, intersection line cutting machine, right? And edge milling machine in our workshops. And uh, okay, so today uh, uh, you can have a brief brief on the workshops. And uh, uh, not sure if uh, you guys are satisfied with what we are uh watching today and uh, if you have some uh some interested uh, in some special parts you can also let us know and uh, uh also contact uh, uh comment on the uh communicate zone to contact our colleagues and uh, if you're interested in our factory uh, you can ask our colleagues to send you the call the catalog also to have a detailed see and uh, just now, I've also uh, introduced you about our project cases. So, if you are interested, I also could uh, uh, ask the uh, detailed files to send to your emails. So, today, uh, very uh, thank you for your time to have this tour with us to visit our factory, and I very hope that you can enjoy this time and uh, uh, hope you can. Uh, uh, have a, a brief understanding of what our factory looks like and how our workers are workers. So looking forward to work with you very soon. And uh, I'm Scarlett from the overseas department. I'm very welcome to contact us for your needs. Thank you for your time. And, today, and this is today's video broadcasting. Thank you.